guys, it's Joel. So, as you've seen from the intro slates, this video is a combination of my last three days in the US. It starts off with the drive from Phoenix to Las Vegas, over 700 miles and 14 hours of driving after our deviations, all done by me. Uh, this is probably the longest day of driving I've ever done in my life. On day two, we attempt to visit the Grand Canyon again, all be revealed, before giving the Mustang one last spanking ahead of handing back the keys the next day. And sadly, on day three, we do just that before flying back to the UK. Anyway, I'll shut up now uh, so that I can fully immerse you guys in what was the last three days of my incredible US road trip. it's Joel and welcome back to the channel you join me in the desert of Arizona we are making our way uh, today to the Grand Canyon everyone knows what that is I have been once before but uh, I was very very young so I don't remember it so I'm rather excited we're already getting some spectacular views and we're not even in the National Park yet we've been driving for a while about five hours today six hours perhaps but yeah the views in that six hours have been incredible um, this car is a great, great cruiser. It makes it so, so easy to just eat up the miles. I've been driving very economically, trying to anyway, and uh, I've averaged about 25 mpg on this trip, so pretty good, pretty good for a V8. Anyway, I thought I would just start filming now so that you guys don't miss any of the incredible views that I'm, I'm seeing on my way here. Um, and yeah, I will show you guys everything that I see. Hey there. Yeah, not bad, thanks. Welcome, where are you guys coming from? We, well, we're from London, but we've just driven up from Phoenix today. Hi right, guys, so we've arrived at the Grand Canyon National Park. We've just uh, paid to get in, so that's great, we're here. Uh, it's gonna be getting dark in about three hours, so we're gonna try and see as much as we can before then. But we're now at the desert viewpoint, so we're gonna have a look at that, see if it's any good. And then I think 20 minutes from here is that horseshoe viewpoint, which is the bit glass wall way that goes over the, over the canyon. So we'll check that out too. But yeah, let's go over to the desert viewpoint now and see, see what it's all about. Well, that was pretty insane. Um, yeah, it, it just doesn't look real again, can you? It's, it's mad. Anyway, back in the car now, we're gonna drive around to the horseshoe and uh, take a look at the views there. just the most mental sight guys that is absolutely incredible the camera will not do it justice I'm sure some of you have been here before but you've got to come if you haven't it's amazing anyway in other news uh, we just realized in the car that it's actually so we're, we're staying in Vegas tonight I think I pointed that out earlier but um, it's actually four hours to Vegas from here and I think in my head I thought it was about two hours so um, yeah, so we're going to have to leave the Grand Canyon now because the sun will be down in about two hours and it'd be nice to get out of the National Park uh, before it's completely dark because otherwise then we might struggle to find our way home. Um, but yeah, so back to Vegas now, or to Vegas now. Got a book hotel on the way, leaving it last minute. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a long day for me because I've been driving since, I think we left Phoenix at 6am, 7am this morning. No, it was, it was 6am this morning. Um, so I've been driving, it's now 3pm, 4pm, 
Um, so I've been driving for about 10 hours already, on and off, and Charlie's not feeling fantastic, so I'll be driving the rest of the way too. Um, so, 14 hour day for me in behind the wheel of the Mustang. Uh, not bad, I'm enjoying it, it's good fun, but yeah, gonna have to get going now. Back in the Mustang, a few hundred miles on the freeway to Vegas. Good morning and welcome to Las Vegas. We pulled in last night after visiting the Grand Canyon amongst other things, that huge meteor crate. And, uh, oh, I need to put my foot on the brake to start this. We're in, uh, we're in Las Vegas. We've just had a terrible, terrible hotel breakfast, so we're actually gonna shoot out now and probably find some, what, donuts? I guess some donuts or something like that. Keeping it up nice and healthy this week in America. Um, yeah, we're gonna run over there, get something to eat, and then uh, and then I think we're gonna look at the Hoover Dam today. That's only like 40 minutes from here or so. Um, and we'll probably do a few other bits, but then we'll come back to Vegas this evening and see what it's all about. Anyway, tomorrow morning, really, really long drive again. Back over to Los Angeles where we'll be flying home. But yeah, in the Mustang now, we'll just drive up the strip and then we'll head over to the Hoover Dam. Literally the first Z4 I've been able to see. It's E86 Z4. That is, uh, I think I've seen one of these the whole time I've been in America, but it was going the other way. What do we think? He's got the right colour. So guys, this uh, we're just driving down the Las Vegas Strip. It's quite a place, I have to say. I did come for a little cruise down here when we arrived last night. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely it's more of an atmosphere when when it's when it's night time, but um, it is quite something to see in the day. It's uh, yeah. If you haven't been before, come and see it. It's interesting. Guys, we found breakfast. We uh, <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts. Um, where are we going? We're going this way. Right, we're heading up to the Hoover Dam now, and then potentially back to the Grand Canyon um, to go on the horseshoe thing, the thing that goes across the canyon, the Skywalk. Thank you. The Skywalk, which is like a glass thing that goes across the canyon, apparently. So, yeah, that'd be cool. Anyway, I'm gonna start focusing on driving so I don't drop my camera out the window now and uh, yeah I guess I'll catch up with you once we arrive at the, uh, the Hoover Dam. We are definitely well 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 and truly back in the desert now um, we are on the road to the Hoover Dam, but we're in a massive queue because there is a, there's actually a sign here that says there's a security check in half a mile. So I think apparently they check cars and stuff because obviously it's a bit of a security risk putting cars on the Hoover Dam, which is such a valuable resource. Here we are guys, uh, Mustang all parked up. We've just driven across the dam. Um, but yeah, now we're gonna go have a look at the view. It's, uh, I mean, it's just, it's just a bridge really. I don't think there's really much else. Uh, of a way to describe it, but yeah, we'll go and have a look, see how big this drop is, because I think it's meant to be quite big. And then I think we're going to continue on to the Grand Canyon in just a bit, but yeah, let's go and check this out. This drop off the edge is freaking gnarly. I literally. I can't even I can't even lean over this because it's just nah. as soon as I go anywhere near this edge and look over my legs just turn to jelly that is, I, it's crazy look at this even holding the camera over there I'm getting really nervous but uh <laughs> mental Hoover Dam, we've got 
Charlie at the wheel. He uh, He's doing some driving today. I did all of it yesterday, which was mental. Anyway, we're blasting along these nice empty roads through the desert. The scenery's amazing once more. On our way to the Grand Canyon, we were just saying, I managed to average about 26 mpg on the whole way from Phoenix yesterday. Uh, and just with that little bit of uh, blasting now, it's down to 22. So um, that's, that's probably gonna be the theme for today. Yeah, let's head over to the Grand Canyon and uh, see what's going on over there. So we're on a massive uh, empty desert road on the way to the Grand Canyon. We're just gonna try one of the track features on this car, which is the 0-60 function. So uh, let me just film Charlie now, he's driving, and we'll see what, uh, what we get. Sorry, I realized I didn't finish yesterday's video. It's basically a bit of a fail. We got to the Grand Canyon and then, uh, well, we didn't realize you had to pay $70 to go on the horseshoe thingy majig. Um, and it was a whole bus tour thing which was gonna take two hours, meaning we would have to be driving back through the desert at dark. So it just done, didn't seem like a great idea. So we went back to Vegas, went out for a really nice meal and uh, a little bit of a go in uh, one of the casinos, which was kind of interesting. Um, and yeah. Today is the day we go back, so we've driven back to Los Angeles this morning and we're here now and we're actually just getting the car valeted uh, at a place really near the drop-off. It's one of the things with these Churo cars, or at least with this Churo rental, uh, is that you do have to wash the car as well as fill it up with fuel before you drop it off. Anyway, it's about an hour to when you to be at the airport, the car's waiting to be cleaned and uh, yeah, then we're dropping off the Mustang. I'm really, really going to miss it and I'm very, very sad to be leaving, uh, but it's been an insane trip. Here we are guys, the last start of the Mustang before we drop it off. There we go, it's emotional. Right, back to the Chiro lot and then it's to the airport. guys there we have it those were the last three days of my US road trip I really really thank you all for watching this series it's been very different from my normal content but uh, it was such an incredible trip and obviously I was gonna film it and put it on YouTube I put a lot of effort into the videos so those of you that have watched engaged and liked them uh, I'm very very thankful for um, anyway here we go we're back in the Z4 now Today couldn't be any more of a far cry from the weather you've just been seeing. I don't think we saw a cloud all week, but yeah, I've, like I say, really enjoyed making that series. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching this last one. Uh, there'll be one more Mustang video coming, but that will be like a proper normal car review. So that should be one to stay tuned for. And then the next video you're probably gonna see in this channel is gonna be a quick update on my Z4 because it failed its MOT. So uh, yeah, so stay tuned guys. Thank you so much for watching this one and I will see you very, very soon.